Dean, uh, our winning run comes to an end here at Yeovil. Uh, what do you make of the match? Tasty game. I did say to the fourth official after about 12 minutes, Charlie's name is, that the referee will lose control of this game and someone will be sent off. Because of an incident that happened with uh, Reese Greenwich and their centre forward. It was the clearest yellow card you've ever seen in your life. And he never gave it. He had a chat with both players. What he should have done is book both players. Reese and uh, their centre forward, uh, Yusuf. And he didn't do that. And you're going to let things like that go. It was a yellow card for both players. They've got involved in an incident. And in the end, we have a player sent off for doing nothing. For one of their players squaring up the air player and inciting their player. Nothing happened. So if they tell me that uh, Efron's booked them, they're lying. Because I watched the whole incident. Nothing happened. I watched it. It's lawyers. Because I watched the whole incident. Mm. Clearly watched it. Everybody on the bench watched the whole incident. Dave Anderson, the same, said the exact same. I said, are my eyes deceiving me? Because I see no head put there. It's crazy. Then uh, in the last minute, we have a handball in their box. <laughs> it's the clearest handball you've ever seen in your life. Two minutes earlier, it was a handball in midfield that he gave against us from a yard away. So, um, look, at the end of the day, the spirit we showed, we've come here depleted today. Um, yesterday, we had lads doing PCR tests and waiting for results of that. So we can't take any, we can't take any risks with that. People like Powell, uh, obviously Adam Marriott couldn't make it today as well. So, uh, Bloomfield the same, he was ill overnight. So we've had an absolute nightmare, to be honest. But we show a lot of spirit, that's what I would say. Our supporters got behind us, we stayed in the game. I thought you over were good. I thought they deserved our victory, to be honest with you. We damaged sort of to ourselves in the first 10 minutes where we never got going and they scored within that period. Started the second half excellent. Had two or three great opportunities, got in some great areas and never scored when we were on top. So, but if I'm being totally honest, the best, the better team won today. How do you feel that the early goal affected what was said to the players before the game? We didn't get going. We didn't, we didn't do well enough. The start of the second half, we started really well. We made a lot of entries, got in some really good areas, got in behind the back line. Uh, Serhat got in behind them a couple of times, tried to pull a uh, square one across the F. They went on the same wavelength for that. Uh, Rico's had to come on and play up front. Um, we just saw a lot of spirit. We stayed in the game, really. And in the end, it was a, it was a mucky game because of poor refereeing. So Sam Beard uh, was, was a bit of a, uh, a live wire down, down the wing, but couldn't quite obviously uh, f- find the final, put the final ball into the box to, uh, to get the equaliser that we actually needed in the end. Yeah, Beard is a good player, he's reliable, uh, he's low maintenance. Uh, he, was, he played really well today against a very good player in Charlie Wayfield, a player not really well. He's a speed demon, to be honest with you, and he's flying here. Um, so yeah, look, you know, you have to come here with everyone fully fit. You can't come here realistically today, you know. We only had four players on the bench, so just very frustrating. Um, but I've no issue losing that way because we gave everything. We gave our all. We never gave in. We stayed in the game. We made lots of entries with ten men, um, and we gave ourselves a chance. And I felt we had a clear penalty. So, you know, I really do. I'm not blaming the referee for us getting beat today. I thought the better team beat us, but he had a lot to do with it. You know, to send Efron off is crazy. Then there's a tackle in midfield. Rob Hall, the recovery tackle, makes a clear tackle, and he gives a free kick. But get to talk about him it's ridiculous and it's, the referee the season this year the penalties that I'm not given again we haven't received as a joke we've had one penalty all season one penalty like, how does that work you know last week you see the incident on Rob Hall in the first half for Aldershot uh, not Aldershot we played Maidenhead last week after about 20 minutes skips by a lad lad trips him over and you don't get a penalty handball in the box don't get a penalty so for whatever reason we're not getting uh, we're not getting decisions and I think we're respectful to the officials was respectful to them. He's come over and booked loads of us. Yeah. Just for what? We sent one of the players off for something that he said it was a headbutt. It's never, ever, ever been a headbutt. Never. To me, that's a lie. Because I didn't see a headbutt. And I watched the whole incident. So what can I say? I mean, the, the, the togetherness was there to see throughout, which uh, must be a pleasing thing f- um, from, from this afternoon. Yeah, we got togetherness. We got spirit. We gave our all there today. We've left our all out on the park. Um, like I said, the damage we've done sort of in the first 10 minutes of the game. Uh, and then we didn't score when we were on top. And then obviously they broke quite late in the game. They had a couple of chances themselves and to penetrate the over. But we shot great together and we gave our all. No one can say we did not give our all today. Even with 10 men, we had, we had opportunities. Uh, Rico commanded a great job for the team. Going for 25 minutes. Played up front for us. Uh, he's a centre half going up front. So that's the way it was for us this week. You get these tests, you, you have to come to places like the Oval and you have to be flying. And we were flying in performance levels, but today we just have too many players out. And uh, yeah, it's frustrating.
We've now got to obviously dust ourselves down. We've got Boreham in the FA Trophy next weekend. Uh, how, how, do you th how do you feel that the weekend training is going to go um, from here? Yeah, we'll be bright. We'll get back to work. Uh, we'll debrief the game Monday morning. That's what we always do. You know, win, draw, lose. We walk the same way. Um, obviously, I'm hoping, I'm praying that we've, had, we've got a Zoom up vid uh, vision of a um, of video of Efron's incident sending off. Um, because if we do, we'll be definitely appealing it. It's not happened. So, yeah, um, that's big for us. Efron's a big player for us. Um, I think that's Harry Taylor's fifth booking as well. So he could be out, he could be suspended as well. I don't know if that holds in the FA Trophy or not. So, yeah, we'll see where we are next week. Hopefully we can get some bodies back. Hopefully people like Sam Woods is back and Powell and Marriott and Bloomfield. Hopefully they got over their illnesses and we can get them back. They're big players for us. And just a word on our supporters who made the long trip uh, down to Yeovil to, to come and support us today. Yeah, amazing today for us. You know, they clapped us off there at the end. They can see we're giving her all for them, giving her all for the badge. And that's so important, uh, you know. And we nearly, we nearly got a result in the end, but we gave our all for them. We just thanked them for the positive support. Thanks for your time. Cheers, mate.